Hello guys, Salvador here. This is my first video on the Orange Pi 3B. It is an Erka 3566SBC. So, uh, and we are running on Dodgy Linux. While we use Dodgy Linux 5.10, uh, we have uh, Mesa drivers. That means uh, we have the best of both worlds. We have the BPU, media decoding and encoding drivers. Uh, by Dogchip, on they are only support on his forked Linux. It, it is called Dogchip Linux, and that is uh, what appears here. This is 5.10 uh, legacy kernel, and we have Mesa drivers. Unlike, uh, for example, Elk 55 ATA, it has a hack implementation made by Askin 95, but here we have the real Mesa drivers. If I do GLX info dash b it will appear um, my version of, of, of mesa you can see uh, let me check i forced open gl 3.3 this is a bug when utilizing oibab and mesa drivers it is just to um, get the latest mesa driver this in fact i am on the on the bleeding edge mesa drivers for the uh, this Mali GPU. It is a Mali G52 uh, with uh, one core and two execution execution units. So it is a two execution units Mali G52. Uh, basically, we have per the performance of, uh, for example, an S922X or or similar like the Rasa 02. It has per the performance of that those GPUs. If I run, for example, Gelmark 2, let's try, uh, let's try this one, Wayland. Let's see what are the numbers. This is my own uh, build of uh, Armian for the Orange Pi 3B. <laughs> uh, I installed Ubuntu Desktop, Vanilla Ubuntu Desktop, right from APT. Uh, there are some fixes needed to be done on the device tree on um, at Armbian and probably the same at the official uh, Orange Pi 3 images. But this is the performance I experienced when utilizing Armbian. We are on Jami. Uh, well, I also added the PPA of uh, Logic Legacy by Amazing Fake to have uh, well. Uh, the PPU capabilities. I try OBS on this platform and sadly, while it is PPU accelerated for the decoding and encoding, it is not well implemented enough or maybe we have memory bandwidth constraints or whatever, but it doesn't perform great. So uh, the results here may be a bit unreliable because I have the, the browser open and but, uh, but you get an idea about the numbers. So let's check the Orange Pi 3B uh, uh, site at Orange Pi. This is a very affordable single world computer. I have the 4 GB model. I am running with the EMMC, but not the EMMC by uh, Orange Pi. Uh, I have to install the bootloader to the SPI in order to use it but the Orange Pi EMMC modules should be plug and play, so burn the EMMC and you shall boot. In my case, that wasn't, well, that wasn't the case because I didn't have the official uh, EMMC, but installing the boot rather to the EMMC, uh, sorry, to the SPI solved the issue. How I did so? Well, just with Ambient Config. Pudo Ambient Config. I have a video on how to copy your micro SD card system, Armbian of course, to the uh, to the EMC. I did here in this case, booted from micro SD card system, install, and instead of boot from EMC and system on the EMC, uh, boot here means the bootloader. So I I did uh, boot from M MTD flash and then I install the 
would do other, uh, sorry, the, the system to the EMMC. So it boots from the SPI, but the system it is on the EMMC. And here you can install or update the bootloader you boot on the uh, SDOE or EMMC, and here the same on the SPI, the MTD flash. Type and say, uh, on SPI 3B at Ambient, it is very early, and I will be switching to Mainline, so true Linux. If you don't know what Mainline is, it is basically uh, if I do Luno, Linux. Linux Torval, Linux Torval, it is the creator of Linux, GitHub, so uh, no, uh, Linux here. So this is Linux, the kernel, what it is underneath of all this operating system. And here uh, lives Linux, this is the real Linux. Uh, Logic Linux, it is a fork, a very old one from this uh, Linux kernel and it has multiple patches, everything, a, a lot of uh, tweaks that uh, today it doesn't have many, <laughs> many similarities with, uh, with the real Linux, but it works, it works properly, it has PPU acceleration and that is enough for many people. If you want to use, I don't have any MIPI CSI camera, but if you want to use that, you are going to use Logic Linux because there you have not only the coding, but encoding capabilities. Why I will switch to Mainland? Well, basically because I, I prefer to use uh, Mainland Linux, true Linux, this one. Um, but also because um, there is some BP open source BPU drivers for Zogchip, at least for the coding is juicy for and I will try that. Uh, Amazing fact also uh, added a PPA to install all the required pack packages to use uh, BPU made the coding at least for H264 on Slogchick uh, and I will try that because I prefer to be on real Linux. Uh, that has many consequences. Uh, probably if you are, uh, I don't know, uh, an enterprise that use thousands of these SVCs and, and you need just to make it just work with BPU decoding and decoding, you will probably be okay with Logic Linux. But uh, for many users, they prefer the real Linux, mainland Linux. So here we have all the information, the MSRP prices, uh, which are very low. And that is why I am so interested on this SVC because remember, it has four uh, efficiency cores, they are Cortex A55, they are not going to perform as great as, for example, B cores like uh, Raspberry Pi 4, but they are very efficient. Uh, you have the thermals here. Um, if you uh, are on a hot place, you are probably uh, going to uh, need to use uh, a fan, but that is not my case. I use passive cooling and not a very big heatsink. Um, what I can say, uh, this N.2 uh, M key for uh, for an SSD. Uh, in the documentation of NPI, it mentioned that it's based on uh, one lane PCI 2.0, but on the documentation of Solchip, it mentions it is a 2.1 uh, interface. So I have no idea which is uh, wrong and which is right. Uh, and I don't have that uh, model of uh, of SSD. And to be honest, uh, EMMCs are very efficient and they are mostly okay for this kind of use cases. I mean, like desktop, etc. So remember, they are four cores, but they are a 55 cores, a 55 cores. So they are not big cores. They don't have the performance of big cores like on Raspberry Pi 4. In fact, you will have like 60% or so the performance of a Raspberry Pi 4 on CPU, okay? On CPU, it should be faster, like you saw on GLMark. Uh, it can run up to 8 GB of RAM. The controller is a 32-bit controller, like Raspberry Pi 4, 
um, well, some information uh, you can output up to three different uh, video outputs it has uh, maybe CSI well uh, it has very good very decent IO considering the price this SBC has also uh, you are not watching the SBC like I do but it is very beauty and I think that it's a plus it uses a fixed 5 volt uh, power solution for the power source but I didn't experience any power issue at all compared to uh, other single uh, 5 volt SBCs like I face a lot of power issues with for example the Raspberry Pi 4 I connected very uh, power hungry uh, peripherals and it, that it didn't have any problem at all um, so nothing more to say uh, let me show you the performance on video decoding and video decoding here but let me use a frame counter because we are going to lose some frames and I want to uh, to get the, the real performance so I will use uh, Galleon Hood uh, ok so first at 1080p 60fps HUC4 yes 1080p As you can see the frame rate is not perfect but the, the frame rate is not perfect but the CPU consumption it is decent and well uh, I think it works nicely for 1080p60 it is not perfect but watch out Okay, it is a no-go uh, on HUC4 and HUC5 at least inside a full-blown genome desktop with MPB uh, maybe with other solutions that is perfectly possible so this is HUC4 uh, let me check the information uh, here This is, uh, sorry, HUC5, uh, um, it plays nicely, it is a 30 FPS 1080p uh, HUC5 uh, file, and it is very decent. So guys, the TPU decoding capabilities inside Chromium, uh, it is kind of decent, but uh, you are not going to experience uh, an amazing performance you should not expect uh, for low power cores to deliver a nice browsing experience you can see here the video acceleration informa information for video decoding of course GPU it is GPU accelerated with pump cross uh, but the performance it is what we have this is the performance this is VP9, uh, 720p60, and it is still dropping frames. And the CPU consumption it is quite high. Let me check.
So guys, uh, now it's on Box 86 and Box 84 uh, showcases on this lovely FEC. Remember it has four little cores. It will not be fast enough for many, many Windows software because Winex emulating Winex 86 and then the application requires a lot of CPU power, power we don't have here, okay? But at this price, it is an amazing value. Eh? And this SPC, it is meant to compete with Raspberry Pi 3, not with Raspberry Pi 4, but I think in, in I.O., in, in GPU, it match or uh, even outperform the Raspberry Pi 4. So it is an amazing value. Uh, the support uh, for BPU, it is great or decent on, on Doxy Linux. I will need to check if we have any BPU on mainland. This is something I will test on a... Uh, next video and probably I will do some do some retro console emulation on next videos but everything from Linux you know I don't do uh, Android testing um, well that is all see you on next video guys
probably we also should reduce a bit the resolution. Reload, reload. Es war Holzer. Ja, Rete. Ja. Heiße? Ja, ja. Das war Woche. Das war Buwere. Es war Sucher.
Das ist doll. Rete. Suche. Shh. 